Welcome to LUTV News in Focus, where we feature interesting topics on campus, in the community, and in the world of culture. I am Carson Rossich. Touchdowns, goals, and home runs. There's lots happening in Cardinal Nation this spring. Being involved in athletics is no walk around the track. To get a better understanding how mentally challenging it is for Lamar Athletics Media Department and to learn of their abilities to be in more places than one. I spoke with Assistant Director of Media Relations, Will McFarland, to get the dig. Can you tell me a little bit about your job and what you do specifically? Uh, so I, I handle media relations. My official title is actually the Assistant Director of Media Relations. Uh, so I handle a wide variety of things, you know, coming from press conferences to live stats, um, you know, game notes here and there, talking to national, local, and, you know, you know semi-national TV. Um, people as well as not just TV, but as well as just news reporters in general, um, getting interviewed with my athletes, student athletes, you know, whether it be from um, women's basketball, soccer, men's and women's golf, track and field cross country, or softball, because those are, those are the main sports that I handle personally, um, as well as some others here and there. We know when my, when my supervisor or, you know, the others in the office can't get their sports handled. Um, you know, we try to help each other out and as much as a way, you know, all of our duties are kind of the same, so it kind of works hand in hand. And, you know, we sit at the computer for eight hours a day and, you know, it's not really a, a elaborate work week because, you know, we could be, you know, pulling 15, 20 hour days and then, you know, got to be right back up at the office at 8 a.m. Um, so it, it handles a lot. Um, a lot of it is, you know, making sure statistics are good, you know, whether it's on the back end of the website. So that way it portrays good on the front end of the website that, uh, you know, people that normally go to the website and see. Um, as well as, you know, like I said, the pregame press conferences, postgame press conferences, you know, whether it's media availability within the week and, you know, so on and so on. So you were saying you guys kind of help each other a lot. Is it hard to balance all these sports? Yeah. In like, I guess. Uh, I would, yeah. So with this a strange season, you know, I would probably put out the best at it uh, with you know, everything being in the spring with the Southland pushing everything to the spring, you know, last fall, um, beginning of last fall, actually, it's it's thrown a hinge um, just because we are a two person media relations office right now. Um, you know, but we've done we've done wonders, you know, le helping out left and right. We actually have uh, football opened up the season at home and baseball was at home, too. And our football guys also are baseball guys. So I was over at, at baseball while he was doing football. Um, and then, you know, I went over afterwards for a little bit and it's a lot of bouncing back and forth, um, seeing where we can help each other. Um, next weekend is going to be pretty hectic for us because we got to figure out how to be uh, in six different spots at one time on Saturday, um, just because all of our home, all, that's our big home event heavy weekend. Um, so we've got football, baseball, softball, soccer, um, all going on at the same time. Can you say that you feel like a chicken with your head cut off right now? Uh, sometimes, uh, you know, I've only been in full-time work since, uh, December of 19. Uh, so I pretty much came here right after I graduated college at, uh, at Tennessee. And it's, it's been pretty hectic since the get-go because I wasn't expecting a pandemic to happen. Um, as well as, you know, having to go right on the road, right. Once I get here, I was in, I was in the office at day one. And then the next day I was on the road with women's basketball. Um, but I do it. Uh, it's just more for a love of sports. I always grew up around sports and it was, uh, you know, I had four concussions, multiple injuries playing college lacrosse. So my way to give back to the, you know, the thing that always gave me an out was, you know, put my work into it and put my passion into it. That's great. Um, with the cancellation and the question about playing again, uh, what was your, your reaction to having to basically do all the sports in one season? Oh, uh, well, when we first heard about the cancellation, like literally 366 days ago, if, if I'm not mistaken, it's, it's been almost an exact year. Um, it, I was, I wasn't necessarily shocked because I had seen what was going around with like the power five conferences and the mid mid higher mid majors. And I wasn't, I wasn't too shocked because I was expecting it to happen. Um, as well as, you know, the virus is taking off. Like nobody thought it would. And, you know, we were probably one of the most prepared countries. Um, but with the cancellations and moving everything to the spring, um, 
I, from a viewpoint now, I feel like we could have still played in the fall to a degree, you know, with some severe limitations, no fans, you know, so on and so on. And you gradually work towards that pace in the spring. But, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, the Southland and, you know, Lamar and all the other Southland schools have handled it really well. Um, I commend everyone, you know, just not just at Lamar, but um, as well as at the uh, at rival schools. Like on your end, what all goes into like preparing for the games? So like what oh, do you have me, to get ready? Uh, if it's a basketball game, I typically start preparing two to three days beforehand. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, each school's SIDs or media relations directors will get in contact with each other. Uh, we'll exchange roster, word rosters, you know, roster sheets, you know, with pronunciations and all that, make sure we can go over it with each other's radios, crews, if they're available. Um, and then we do game notes. Uh, game notes this year were pretty condensed. Uh, we really only did them for football, basketball, or both and both basketballs, um, just because we want to give time to those bigger sports, but we also want to make sure that, you know, we're giving enough time to the little sports by, you know, if it's hitting an extra social media post or two a week, you know, giving them specific graphics to help them out, just get the program out there. Um, it, it just var it varies day to day, um, really how we prepare for a game. Um, I still kind of like if it's a game day, I mean, I do my game day graphics. I make sure I get them out in a timely fashion um, in the mornings. Uh, we, I was actually eating breakfast this morning and had to get the women's basketball one out since we're playing at 11. That was at uh, 7, 7.30ish this morning, 8 o'clock. So um, but it got done. Um, it's really what it takes, um, you know, with Twitter allowing to schedule tweets and Facebook allowing to schedule posts. That really helps out a lot. You know, if we're dead tired in the morning, we can schedule it out the night before so that we, we, we can get an extra 30 minutes of sleep. So. Oh, wow. And then um, you don't you don't have to just re relate to your boss, you know, who's above you, but you also have to respond to all the head coaches. What's that like having a bunch of people chirping at you, trying to get a bunch of things done at once? Um, I try to, you know, it, it can get pretty hectic sometimes, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, with, you know, my main priority during basketball season being my women's hoops team, then, you know, they're going to they're gonna be at the number one on my priority list. And then it, it, and then it just spills down from there. Um, and with soccer being in the spring, which is normally in the fall, uh, we in the SID world, we have these things called crossover seasons. So it's when sports that start and end at the same time kind of merge. So like the big priority with that is softball and basketball right now for me. Um, softball is all on the road 99% of the time to begin the season. Uh, I don't get to go on the road. So I get to miss those trips with the girls, uh, the team in general, the coaches. Um, and it can get pretty hectic when, you know, we're not traveling. So when we're going back and forth, you know, through text messages, phone calls, emails, it can get pretty lost. Some stuff can get lost in translation. Um, and that, you know, sometimes negatively affects me um, as well as, you know, other people as well because stuff's not getting communicated correctly. Um, and it, you know, like I said, it just gets lost in translation and something slips. Uh, and then the coach is calling me, hey, why didn't you get this get done? Um, but then if that happens, you know, I turn around and try to do the right thing, just get it done right away. Um, no ifs, ands, or buts because, it should have been done in the first place and I didn't do it or someone else didn't do it. And I'd rather make it right than having to argue with a coach because um, the coach wants what's best for the program. And I believe that as well, because every program should get the best. Um, so, you know, just making sure the coaches are happy at all times from, from our standpoint is, is the number one thing. Thank you for watching LUTV News In Focus. To see more content from LUTV News, follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook.